Hello class, this is section 3.8 and in this video we are going to, to discuss eigenvalues. So endpoint problems are going to behave a little differently than the initial value problems that we are used to. And we are going to go through a couple of examples to explain how or why. So this is an example of an endpoint problem. We have a very harmless looking differential equation, second order, linear, and we honestly know that the function is going to be 0 at 0 and 0 at pi. So we can again solve for a general solution as we always do. We make the substitution y equals erx and this gets us r squared plus 4 equals 0 or r equals plus minus 2i and we know that this will give us a general solution of c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x. We can then plug in the initial conditions and see what happens. So y0 equals 0 implies that 0 is equal to c1. Cosine of 0 is 1 and sine of 0 is 0, so that's all we have. And plugging in pi, y pi equals 0 is also 0. And again, we get, we get 0 equals c1. That's, that's, that's the only equation we get. So we seem to get the solution y equals c2 sine 2x, which means we failed to get rid of all the constants. But this is fine because checking the equation by plugging it in, we find that y double prime is going to be minus c2 sine 2x times minus 4c2 sine 2x. So plugging that in, we find that this is indeed a solution for any C2. It's clear that if you plug in this value in y for y double prime and this value for y, that it doesn't matter what C2 is, that we have a solution. And what this come to, come to, comes down to is that even though we had two equations for our two constants, the two equations were the same equation. And that's why we couldn't eliminate all the constants. Let's look at the slightly different endpoint problem. It's exactly the same as the last one, except that instead of a 4, we have a 4.1. The endpoint values are the same. y0 is 0 and y pi is 0. Let's make our usual substitution. We have r squared plus 4.1 equals 0. r squared equals negative 4.1. So r is plus minus square root of 4.1 times i. Uh, first of all, let's calculate that 4.1 is equal to 2.02. .02. The square root of 4.1 is 2.02. .02. And this gets us y equals c1 cosine 2.02x plus c2 sine 2.02x. So still a very similar equation than last time. It's a very similar general, general solution than last time. But let's see what happens when we plug in initial conditions. y is 0 and x is 0. And this gets us 0 equals c1 again. So we have that first equation still the same. But let's see what happens to the second equation. We get y pi equals 0. So c1 cosine 2.02 pi plus c2 sine 2.02 pi. We already know that c1 is equal to 0, so we can cancel this out. And we get c2 sine 2.02 pi is 0. However, we can calculate that sine 2.02 pi is actually going to be equal to 0 0.0628. And this means that we have 0 0.0628 times c2 equals 0, or c2 equals 0. So we do have just a single solution, y equals 0. And this stemmed from the fact that our two equations were not the same this time. So we had c1, we had c1 equals 0, and c2 sine 2.02 pi equals 0. So notice that even making a tiny, tiny change to the problem 
gave us a different behavior for the system. So we consider this definition. Let's consider a endpoint problem parameterized by a lambda. We say the eigenvalues of that problem are the values of lambda that cause the problem to have infinitely many solutions. So to conclude the example that we just studied, the eigenvalue problem given by y double prime plus lambda y equals 0, y0 equals 0, and y pi equals 0 has an eigenvalue at lambda equals 4. It also doesn't have an eigenvalue at lambda equals 4.1, but lambda equals 4 will cause the problem to have infinitely many solutions. And that's why we refer to lambda equals 4 as an eigenvalue. Secondly, we say that the problem has an eigenfunction if it's a solution of the, the problem for a particular lambda. As an example, for lambda equals 4, our problem had an eigenvector of y equals sine 2x. You may recall that we've determined that y equals c2 sine 2x is a solution for any c2. So I just pick c2 equals 1 here. 